वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम फोर डैश नाइनटीन सो स्टेटमेंट इज कॉलर ए कैन स्लाइड फ्रीली अलॉन्ग द स्मूथ वर्टिकल गाइड इफ द वर्टिकल डिस्प्लेसमेंट ऑफ कॉलर इज जीरो पॉइंट जीरो थ्री फाइव इंच एंड सपोर्टिंग जीरो पॉइंट सेवन फाइव इंच डायमीटर रॉड ए बी इज मेड अप ऑफ थ्री जीरो फोर स्टेनलेस स्टील डिटरमाइन द मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ पी सो यू कैन सी दिस इज कॉलर ए दैट कैन मूव वर्टिकली clear and it is, it is supported by rod ab having diameter 0.75 and is made of 304 stainless steel so from property tables it modulus of elasticity is 28 into 10 to the power 3 ksi so due to this load it can move freely along vertical having displacement 0.035 inch so find this force p so all the given data is already mentioned over here so you have to find the magnitude of p so let's start with the solution so first step is that if you look at here so the angle which supporting rod ab meet with the vertical axis is theta so we can find theta first so if you take tangent of theta so tangent of theta will be equal to perpendicular over base so perpendicular is 1.5 and base is 2 so from here you will get theta it will be equal to tangent inverse 1.5 divided by 2 and you will get this theta will be equal to 36.87 degree now you have this theta so we will find internal loading in internal loading in rod ab in ab so for that if i take this point a clear free body diagram at point a so various forces that is acting at point a is one is this p clear other one is this force that is uh, generating in fab so it will be like this this is fab and the third force which there is a horizontal force at this point a which is let it is n so by using equation of equilibrium that sum of all forces along y direction must be equal to zero and force of point is taken as positive also we can see that this if ab is making an angle of theta with this vertical axis so it will be having two component one along vertical direction and one along horizontal direction if we split this ab into its component so this will be fab y component and this fab x component so now one force that is vertically that is uh, in vertical direction is p and this is downward so it will be minus p the other component is fab y which is also downward so it will be also minus so minus fab y component their sum must be equal to zero so from here you will get fab y component will be equal to minus p now you if you take uh, cos of theta so cos of theta will be equal to fab y component divided by this per hypotenuse which is fab so you can find this fa vertical vertical component fab y will be equal to fab cos of theta so you replace this fab y with fab cos of theta will be equal to minus p and from here you will get this fab will be equal to minus p divided by cos of theta so cos of theta is 36.87 degree so when you solve this you will get fab will be equal to minus 1.25 times p so you do not have this p okay now this is the force which is acting in this uh, member rod ab so we know that change in length of ab will be equal to force in length ab into l of ab divided by area of ab into e 
so length you can see that this is two feet and this is one feet so by using pythagoras theorem this length will be 2 square plus 1.5 square under the root and that is 2.5 feet so length of ab is equal to 2 square plus 1.5 square under the root that is 2.5 feet what is area so area of ab is equal to pi by 4 dab square so dab is given as 0 0.75 inch so pi by 4 into 0 0.75 square and that will give you 0 0.4418 inch square what about e so e from property table can be obtained for 4304 stainless steel which i have already mentioned but let me show you over here so you have to go to the mechanical properties of the table that is available at the end of the book and from here you can see this is stainless steel having modulus of elasticity 28 into 10 is to power 3 ksi okay so let me go to there e is 28 into 10 is to power 3 ksi okay now you can find this del ab which is equal to fab so fab is 1.25 times p multiplied by length which is 2.5 feet so we will convert feet into inch divide by area which is 0 0.4418 multiplied by e is 28 into 10 to the power 3 so when you solve this you will get minus 0 0.0030 3 2 times p so this is the change in length of rod ab is 0 0.003032 times p now it is given that this vertical movement is a which is this one let this is the vertical movement which is del a of v and that is given as 0 0.035 clear so new position of this rod will be like this clear this so this is the angle theta so if i take let me draw it over here so initially this is two feet length this is point a and this is the base which is 1.5 feet this is eb rod eb initial rod eb and that was making theta angle this is b point okay and that was 2.5 feet now it was given that this move downward to the point a move can freely and it the vertical displacement is given as del a of v which is equal to 0 0.035 inch so this will be the new position which is a dash so if i draw it so it means that this is the length this length this is the length which is the change in length del ab which this rod is shortened due to the moment displacement del a v so we can find this uh, displacement a by using if you take cos of theta sorry uh, this line is perpendicular line this line is perpendicular line this is theta so this will be the displacement uh, change in length of ab so you take cos of theta that is equal to del ab over hypotenuse which is del a v so you can find this del ab is equal to del a v into cos of 
theta okay so del ab is minus 0 0.003032 times p and del a is 0 0.035 clear and into cos of 36.37 degree so from here you will get p is equal to minus 9.24 kips so p will be equal to 9.24 kips minus sign means that p is downward which is already shown so this is the p the value of p that can be applied to this collar a so that it can cover vertical displacement of 0 0.035 and that was all about this problem 4-19 i hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned it those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can get notification about latest video if you have any question you can ask me in comment section thank you for watching